No guns! Guess we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Two swords? And maximum effort. But, but wait, we do have guns. As a supplement. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star Zero One channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raphilus, and I finally got this in my hands to replace the missing Figma Deadpool. If you guys remember in my last video with Deadpool in it, uh, sadly, he was thrown away, the Figma one. And now I have a replacement, which is the Deadpool from Mafex, also known as the Giru, Giguri Hero art version. And I was looking at this figure and I said, he is missing something. What is he missing, hon? Guns. <laughs> yes. Looks like he forgot his guns in Dupinder's uh, taxi. So don't worry, Deadpool, I got you. I got some guns here. And we're going to look at little armory guns and see if they can work with them. <laughs> oh, by the way, where can you get this guy at, hon? DStarToys.com. That's right, you can get this figure at www.DStarToys.com. You're allowed to source for awesome action figures, and he's there. Right now, I believe he's going for about $85 to $90. Kind of an expensive toy, but from what I heard, he's very much worth it. Well, let's open him up and let's see if that's true. See if he is worth the money. Everyone loves Deadpool, the Merc with the Mouth, and I love him too. And I'm so sad that the Figma won. Is no longer being made, so I said, you know what, let's get this one. He looks really cool. And let's see. We've got other stuff we're going to look at here. We're going to look at paint and detail, articulation and scale, and accessories. So first, let's look at paint and detail. And so far, whoa! This is one beefy action figure. I'm so used to the Figma one, which is, like, really thin. This is actually very heavy, to my surprise. You want to feel how heavy he is, hon? I bet he feels really big in the yes, hand. Yes, he does feel really big in the oh, hand right there. Does. Yeah, wow, he's seriously. Got some to he's him. got some serious like heft he's... to him. That is the first thing that came to my mind when I picked this up. Usually we're used to really light import action figures. I'm going to give you an example. When I first felt um, mm -hmm. Goku here, picked him out of the box, I thought, wow, he's really light. And also, Spider Man's really light, which is from Mafex as well. This guy has a lot of heft, a lot of plastic to him. Let's look closer here when it comes to paint and detail. <laughs> wow. Look at that. You got all the nice shading of the red and the black. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much just a classic comic book Deadpool. Nothing too special here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. He's also got the uh, the pouches there, which are brown. Not too much shading on there, but which is fine by me because I really like the bright, vibrant colors of the red and the black. And the boots right there look really cool as well. And let's just look at this face right here. Looking really solid. And his leg comes off. No worries. It's just ball pegged in. And there you have it. That is pretty much it. He's just plain, right, hun? He's not too, like, not like a super special Deadpool, just a comic book Deadpool. Well, I think it's these, um, these hands that help make him like, special. <laughs> Add more personality. As like, soon as I saw this set of hands, I was like, I could hear and Deadpool. She's talking about... And he lines up the shot. <laughs> okay, okay, so... We're gonna look at these and accessories to see uh, how much more personality he can get when he it comes, comes to his with accessories. So many hands. Yeah, he does come with a lot of hands because you don't get a lot of guns, which you is to get, my like, surprise you don't up. get guns. Oh, you get thumbs up hands. Okay, she's looking at that. No spoiler alert here for this review. Okay, we gotta go right into articulation and scale. Paint and detail looks absolutely amazing in my opinion. I mean, it's pretty standard for something like this, especially from Mafex. So let's see how tall he stands when it comes to scale. He's standing at about six and a half inches. And we gotta compare him to the person that everyone thinks he is, Spider-Man. <laughs> Before Deadpool is popular, everyone, if you cosplayed as Deadpool, I, I bet there's a lot of Deadpool cosplayers out there. They're, oh, look, it's Spider-Man. No, he's not Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I'm not gonna lie, I was one of those people. Yeah, <laughs> everyone thought he was Spider-Man, but there the you go. Movies came yeah, out before definitely. the movies came out, right? So there you go. You can compare these two. This is the real deal, Mafex Spider-Man, right there. As you can see, he scales really well. And other imports, we have Goku with a custom Super Saiyan two head, right there. As you can see, he does scale really well with that one too. Uh, since we're on Marvel, let's see Vanilla Coke Iron Man. This is the real deal, SH Figure Arts. Maybe not so much with the MCU. What do you think, hon? Comic book, MCU, mm. probably not. Mm. I, I always pictured Iron Man to be much bigger, uh, especially yeah. in his armor right there. And uh, we got a Toy Biz Sam Raimi Spider-Man here. 
and I don't have a Marvel Legends. Let me go grab a Marvel Legends real quick. You cannot have Deadpool without an X-Men to compare it to you. And there is Gambit right there. We only see like two of them at a time. Yeah, <laughs> that's true too. We should have Colossus. Here. We should have Colossus, but he's in the next review. Oh man, now you're just spoiling it over and over what the next one's going to be. It's going to be a Marvel Legends Colossus and Juggernaut, but... You gotta wait for the next video. As you can see, this is how he looks like with like a regular uh, standard um, Marvel Legends, and this is Gambit from Marvel Legends. So as you can see, he scales really well. Now let's move on to, ex um, sorry, articulation. It seems like I'm having trouble here with this ball joint. It just doesn't want to go in. There we go, now that nice and tight. We got up and down here at the toe, which is extremely tight right there. We have an up and down with some rocker. Um, effect here. Yeah, so we do have an ankle rocker, which is really nice. Do we have a shin swivel? No, we don't, but we do have a double jointed um, knee right there. Ball joint here at the waist for or at the inner hip for awesome kicks. Is that a clicky joint yeah. or is it just really tight? I think it's just really tight because this one's pretty smooth, but as you can see it keeps coming off because of that ball joint that needs to be fitted better. Ooh! That ASMR, ASMR. Okay, no. <laughs> that is really tight. This one's like a little bit loose. This one's really tight, so really got to watch out there. We have a waist swivel with the ball joint right there. Ball joint here at the other part of the midsection. We do get butterfly joints, so he can hug himself. Look at that. He's going to hug himself right now. You want to see him hug himself? Ah, and the ball joint pops right out. Man, his joints are extremely tight. I can't get him to hug himself. Looks like we got to loosen him up a bit with a bicep swivel right there. Oh man, this bicep swivel, oh my goodness, super tight. You really gotta loosen this guy up right out of the box. There, now we can properly hug himself or give him the cross arms look. And we have a double jointed elbow right there. The ball and peg joint here at the wrist and two at the neck looking to be well above 20 points of articulation. So you can do all the famous poses. I've really gotta work on this ball joint here. Probably gotta hot water that to fit it better. But there you go, you can have him doing a kick to the face, or just kneeling down, getting ready to run, or perhaps he's running towards a, a, a Mexican food restaurant to get his chimichangas. Oh crap, chimichangas, gotta grab him. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm very hungry. Now. <laughs> very hungry. <laughs> Maybe we'll get some chimichangas after that, and we'll, mm. we'll uh, <laughs> post some pictures with him. Uh, with Chimichar. Anyway, enough of that. Let's talk about accessories. Um, we're going to go into the little armory test afterwards, but let's look at all the stuff that he does have. He's all hands. He's all hands, and we do have extra faces. Now, if you're looking at this one, this is a more comical face where he's got like one eyebrow up. It's kind of like a people's elbow or people's eyebrow type thing from The Rock. There you have it. He's like, ooh, kind of like a ooh face. That's nice. And of course we have a maximum effort face. Let's look at this maximum effort face and there you have it. That's maximum effort Can right put there. This one back on? Sure, Janelle That's what I wants. Want to do it with these hands. Okay, all right. So we're going to put this one back on and Janelle says, "Hey, let's see how he looks with these hands." And by the way, that was surprisingly easy to remove. Uh, not too much effort there. Thank goodness. Too much effort means it's too tight and then you're going to break your toy. So, definitely some quality control went into this. And there you have it. Bam! No, no, no. The other one, too. Okay, she wants the other one. And let's do this. Maybe have finger guns going on here. Okay, Janelle wants to get her hands on Mr. Pool here, but hold on. I gotta make sure this goes in correctly. Wow, that's an extremely tight fit. Everyone, maximum please stand by. <laughs> maximum effort. Okay, there we go. I want him to do like this. Okay, so. She says she wants this. Why this? Well, with the hands pointed at arms outstretched, like he's like lining up the shot. Like, okay, hold on. Everyone, please give me a second. Wife wants certain pose, like lining up the shot for a picture. <laughs> Sorry, guys, this one's just for me. <laughs> and there you have it, kind of. Maybe a little more like that. Yeah, like, like that. that. Like, like that. Like that. <laughs> okay, now okay you can lining on. up the picture, and bam. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Wow. Of course, you can have him just pointing at you. It's like, uh, gotcha. Finger guns right there. 
we get a bunch of hands. We do get trigger finger hands. Again, why doesn't this come with guns? Yeah. I don't know. Trigger Maybe fingers on both sides. I, I really wish he came with guns. I mean they're they're missing a lot of opportunity here with this figure, especially since he comes with the proper hands for uh, guns. See? Get trigger finger hands right there. Uh, we'll probably leave these on for now and then we'll look at the other hands later at the end of the video. So let's outfit him completely with uh, these. The sword uh, holster? No, come on, not holster. Sheath. Come on, Dex. Sheath. Sword sheaths. And we gotta put these on. Shouldn't be too hard to figure out. And there you have it. And there we have a completely outfitted Deadpool. Oh, by the way, I totally forgot. I guess these are also considered articulation points. Oh. Yeah. You can have these go neat. up. Yeah, I don't know why you'd want to do that. Oh, well, for like the kick, this... for the kick. Right. Well. This leg needs work. I really need to fit that better. Yeah. I think that's a negative, right, hun? There is some quality control issue right there. If it's something easily fixed. It can be fixed with, uh, with like, just heating up this leg and then popping it right back in and then letting it cool down so it can form better. But yeah, that is mm. a little bit too tight. I think the, the socket on that one might be a little too big. Mm. Uh, but Or a little too small, sorry. Too tight. It needs to fit better. But everything else seems to be pretty cool or, or at least really well fitted and works really well. So there he is with his swords. Can you remove these? Yes, you can. So you can have a uh, unsorted look right here. So we remove that and then these are the swords that you get. They're really small, to my surprise. Uh, let's see, let's put better hands with that. So proper hands. So these are gun hands, and clearly you don't get guns, don't which was the hands. main issue with this figure that I read, is that you don't get guns with them, unfortunately. So we're gonna pop these hands on for the swords, and then we're gonna do the little armory test. So everyone give me just one second. Unless this is a sword hand, but this looks like a chimichanga hand. No, nah, this is more of a chimichanga hand right here. Okay. But uh, anyway, let's zoom out real quick. All right, so we got him with the sword hands. And we're gonna put the sword on him. Oh, it's super tight fit. And you got blades right there. Get him to pose like that. Or something like this. Two swords, maximum effort, and there you have it. Something like that. That looks really cool right there. <laughs> wow, really like that. Just stab no someone. Words. Yep, <laughs> very cool. All right, so we're going to remove this, and let's go to the final thing. Oh, by the way, it does come with a standard Mafex stand. Oh, and these things. Are these buttons and, uh, for this belt? Right here. Oh, yeah, we also get different buttons for the belt. Before I forget, before we move on. So we get a red eyes um let's zoom in and let's see here so you get like the red eyes version and the regular ooh more comical let's see if we can focus there comical version of the belt right there and let's see here so there you have it like that all right and let's get let's do a little armory test everyone please stand by i gotta get those little armory guns Okay, guys, so we got a bunch of guns that we're going to try out here. Janelle, which gun do you think we should do first? Mm -hmm. There's a whole mess of guns here. Okay, she says to use the M249 uh, saw here. And let's see if this works. And so far, so good. I'd have to say so. What do you think? Mm -hmm. There he is. He's going in there. Going to shoot up Francis and his friends. I think we'd have to change another hand. Yeah. Okay, that really works really well. As you can see, it's almost like these were made for little armory, uh, or he was made for little armory guns. Look how yeah. perfect that fit is. By the way, you can get little armory guns at our website, www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. Uh, I believe we have a very few left because you guys have been buying them up. Thank you very much for those who have. Uh, here's another gun we're going to look at, the Steyr Aug. Uh, this one might require some fitting because this is a tough gun to get because it's a bullpup and you can get the bullpup effect going on here. 
Let's see if we can fit this right there. There you have it. There he is shooting up people with a... Or bad guys. I shouldn't say just random people because he's a good guy. He's somewhat of a good guy. Anti-hero. There you go. There you go. That's it with the Steyr Og. We need to do pistols because... Oh, of course. We're going to do death. pistols. Don't worry. And, of course, we have the Desert Eagle, which is Platt's army. I don't have this one in stock, but you can look up, like, uh, import sites. They do have Platt's, P-L-A-T-S. And this is him with a Desert Eagle. Let's see if we can get that into focus a lot more. And that looks okay. That looks pretty good, mm -hmm. I'd have to say. Pits. And you know what? we got to have two two hands with guns, and we have a little armory um, SIG right there, and there you have it, with two guns. Sure, why not? Let's have him go like that. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, let's see what else we can put on him. That's it with the pistols. We do have another one, sure. This is from the SAS Soldier. That is also a SIG. That's really cool. And if you guys want to know, we got also Marauder Arms, the 112 scale. And there you have him with a m4 and he's like "Ooh, look look at this fancy gun mm -hmm. yeah you can put that on him too so if you guys also we have a marauder sr 25 with and there you have it there you have him sniping people wow look all these guns seem to work really well with him i'm surprised he doesn't come with any any other gun and here's a ak-47 you know he comes with gun hands he comes with gun hands but no guns like come on no yeah seriously they expect you to have all the deadpool accessories and they have it with the ak-47 i believe this is a little arm no this is from that one uh i forgot what figure it was but yeah i i'm assuming a little armory ak should work as well and last but not least you need the room clear itself the little armory AA-12, and we're going to outfit this guy with the drum magazine. Ooh, and there you have it. Fancy. Super fancy with the drum magazine. Um, let's see if we can get this one fully posed before we come up with a conclusion here. Let's see here, right here. And there he is. Not that you have to aim with this gun because it's a shotgun with a drum mag. Okay. All right. So there you have it. All the little armory guns, Platt's armory, Marauder arms uh, do work. Anything in the 112 scale when it comes to firearms will work with this guy. So don't worry about leaving your duffel bag in Dupinder's taxi because you could just buy little armory guns and they work really well. Let's come up with a conclusion of this guy. I love this toy. He's an amazing toy. I love the way he looks. He looks like the classic Deadpool from the comic books. Let's play a little bad cop here. This is annoying. This leg joint needs to be fixed. Uh, I gotta find some way to fix that. That could be that it's just the one that we got, though. Yeah, it could be the one that I got, unfortunately. I, I really love the way this figure looks and feels, and he's really heavy. He feels like a quality toy. All my gun, little armory guns work, which is really nice. Um, also, that's a big issue, I think, when it comes to a negative of this figure. He comes with trigger finger hands, but no guns. When you spend $80 on the Figma uh, Deadpool, you get, like, a slew of weapons. So many weapons. But also, that figure seemed a little bit small when it comes to scale. This is more scaled towards a 112 scale. And what else I love about this figure, I know we're talking about negatives, but what I do love is that he scales with almost every action figure I have. And mm -hmm. that's really cool. Look at here's Vegeta. And then here's like Spider-Man from Toy Biz and also the Mafex Spider-Man. Stuff like that is really cool. That is something to definitely consider that how does he work with your other action figures and he works perfectly. I think he works absolutely amazing with other toys. But I think my main issue, uh, as I reiterate again, is this joint could just be me. I don't know if anyone else is suffering from this problem. This isn't a hard fix. And the fact that he doesn't come with guns. But lucky for me, I have all these guns. Well, I think that playing devil's advocate here, when it comes to the lack of guns, I think they expect you to be a real collector. When you're willing to pay that price tag, you probably already have yeah. these kinds of extra pieces lying around. Yeah, I agree. I agree. If you have like if you've been collecting so. Mafex especially, mm -hmm. like the Mafex John Wick 
That comes with a ton of guns, and you can fit they them can all share. in there. They can share. They can share. Actually, hold on one second. I'm going to grab that figure real quick. So here you have the Mafex John Wick from John Wick 1. As you can see, they work really well together. And if you want them to share weapons, sure. I have the M4, the uh, 415C from John Wick. So they're kind of like hoping that you have all this stuff already. So you can... Uh, uh, outfit them with other guns. As you can see, that works really well. Let's yeah. look close. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. That is pretty rad. And there you have John Wick. They're fighting side to side right there. Killing off all the bad guys. And so there you have it. I think that's really my main issue is that it doesn't come with guns, but if you have other guns from other, other action figures, then they do work. So, yeah. So what you have here, final conclusion, final word, you have a really good looking Deadpool action figure right here. You do need accessories, but that's the whole fun about collecting, right? Mm -hmm. Is to add more cool stuff to him. Mix and match. Mix and match. So there you have it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I think that's all we have for today. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you're looking for awesome action figures, where can you go, hun? DStarToys.com. You can go to www.DStarToys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. And we'll see you guys next time.